Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with an incredibly overdue small shop haul and happy mail video. <laughs> um, I, it has been honestly way too long since I've done one of these. So you see a giant pile of packages before you. I don't know if you believe that this is actually truly not even all of it. I tried to pare it down as much as possible, but in these small shops haul videos, I like to share with you guys just um, various things that I've gotten in that I purchased from small shops and I uh, hope that I can maybe introduce you to some new small shops as well as some of my old favorites and stuff like that. Um, there's a real mix of stuff in here today because I feel like the last small shop haul I did was in like November, beginning of December or something. It's been forever. Uh, so I have a huge backlog. I would encourage you to go grab a cup of coffee and a snack and settle in because this is probably going to be a little bit on the longer side, but I hope that it'll be worth it. You know, enjoy. Uh, like I said, just seeing a really, really wide variety of uh, just goodies out there that can make your diamond painting experience um, or just like life in general, you know, <laughs> like more happy. Uh, I think all of this is pretty diamond painting related, though there is something in this giant box over here that has nothing to do with diamond painting, but everything to do with making me incredibly happy. Um, but there is at least one or two things. There are at least one or two things here that are diamond painting related. So um, we're going to start with, I'm going to get some of these bigger packages out of the way first. So I really want to start actually with this one. Um, let me shift some of this stuff out of the way. <laughs> By the way, I am going to make sure that I link to all of the small shops that I that I share with you today, I'm gonna link to all of their socials and uh, their actual shops and stuff like that down in the description box below. A really good, good way you can support a small shop, even if you don't necessarily have the funds to go buy something right now, is you can still go give them a follow on social media. Uh, or if they have an Etsy shop, you know, heart their Etsy shop or bookmark their, their website and check back. A lot of times these small shops, they will restock um and add like new new product and stuff like that uh but yeah that's that's just one suggestion that i have this first big box that i'm getting into you guys this was actually one of the um winter mystery boxes from enablers outposts and they do these seasonal mystery boxes uh fairly regularly I'm trying to remember if the spring one was still up for sale they put up a pre-order for a spring mystery box a week or two ago but I was like, I haven't even opened my winter one yet. I gotta go open my winter one. Uh, so I suppose there's a spoiler warning here, but this is no longer for sale. And at this point, I probably am like the last person to open this up. Like I just am a bit late to the game here. Okay, here we go. So it's all in here. Um, it looks like maybe there's a note here. It says spoilers. Uh, so I'm not going to open that until I open what's in the box. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'm so excited. I've done one of their mystery boxes before. You guys, I was so incredibly happy with it. It was so nice. So I was, I, I, I had taken a little break from getting them. And then I was like, I want to treat myself to this winter one. Also enablers outposts. They're some of the sweetest people on the planet. So anyway, I suppose last warning, if you know, you haven't opened your winter mystery box yet. I don't know how much they're going to vary from box to box, but here we go. Cute for my kiddos. Also, I feel like they sometimes personalize the a bit, these a bit. And so they know about me and my family and stuff. So that's super cute. I'll give that to Connor. Look at all the pretty packaging. So fun. So, so, so fun. Oh, cute. I'm going to eat this tonight. Snickerdoodle popcorn. Yes. Candy. Yes. Oh my toffee truffle oh my goodness by the way you might hear my kitten batting things around oh my gosh look at these you guys they spell sell specialty drills also my cat is yeah no that's not something you're supposed to play with get out of town kitten we just got a new kit we had a kitten for christmas hmm that's made my videos interesting anyway sugared plum gems and jack frost gems look at these are those like jelly ABs. Those are so pretty. Love. We have more. <gasps> Look at how sparkly that is. Oh my gosh. I'm a sucker for a metallic and a neutral as well. So we have frostbite and first snow gems. Skip. Can you not? <laughs> you guys, I'm just going to leave this in. I'm not even going to edit it out. Ooh, so a Bella Arts and Nicole looks like a 3D printed snowflake minder. So cute. And then we have one of these squishies. Again, totally gonna give that to my kiddo. 
roll a washi tape. Very on theme as well. Ooh, that's pretty. And then we've got, I was hoping for this. <laughs> I was really legit hoping for this, so I'm excited. I see some of their scented putty in here that they call Enablers Outpost Chit. Sorry about that. I was like, I got it. I got to move this kitten. I can't, <laughs> I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> Someday I'll have to make like an actual guest appearance. It'll be fun. Anyway, oh, okay. So chocolate mint, Christmas wreath, apple cider, and gingerbread. I am so excited, you guys. I actually, ooh, it looks like there's color in here too. Like so maybe some red and some blue. Love that. So Enablers Outpost Chit, I actually really love using this scented putty in my multi-placer. I think it's a really fantastic formula and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you haven't tried it out yet, um, it's it's one of my go-tos, seriously, when it comes to what I use in my multi-placer. <gasps> Look at that pretty pen. Oh, it's an, it's an actual, yeah, actual pen. I'm really okay with that. I have some of these pens that have like a diamond painting tip on the end, but sometimes I just want to actually be able to write with it. Look, imagine my nails, <laughs> the purples. I love it. <laughs> and then, ooh, that feels like a pen. And then this feels like a, I don't know what. What should we open first? We'll, leave, we'll save the pen for last. This, is this resin? <gasps> what is it? see oh my goodness oh my gosh you guys look how pretty that is <gasps> with a little gingerbread man a little accents this is beautiful this is so gorgeous oh my gosh i love that you can use resin trays like this for um i feel like that works really well for uh special drills you know like if you're working on a special drill kit and we have a pen enablers outpost does pens i really like their pens so oh my gosh look at how beautiful this is oh my gosh i love that i love the colors that is beautiful absolutely beautiful really comfortable to hold i love the turning i love the colors that is a fantastic fantastic mystery box Thank you so, so much, Enablers Outpost, for a beautiful mystery box. I'm sorry that I am just now getting to it, but it's still wintry here. I can still use and, and enjoy all those goodies. So yay, so happy that we got to do that. Let me get into this other really big package, you guys. And this is the this is the thing that there is something in here that is not terribly diamond painting related. I'm hoping you're not gonna be too mad at me because it's gonna be so stinking adorable. This is from Dragons and Beasties. Was this Black Friday? <laughs> Like, was this a Black Friday order? Um, they released something that I had to have. That I absolutely had to have. I'm trying to remember if it was Black Friday or later in December, but I'm so darn excited. I'm so darn excited. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this. <gasps> Let me check. What did I order again? Okay, perfect. Yeah, there are a couple of things in here I can totally get away with saying they're diamond painting related. So, get this box out of the way. I will show you. Do you guys know what this is? If you follow Dragons and Beasties, you might. They they started licensing their artwork to Diamond Art Club, which is really fun. You guys, I have pins and everything of this, but um, they released a plush of their rainbow dragon. Like what? <laughs> what with rainbow wings and all the things oh here's a tag here zen is the name of the dragon deluxe plush it is so giant and floofy and amazing i had to have it i don't know where it's gonna go pretty sure that my kids are gonna try to steal it and i'm gonna fight them for it <laughs> but is this not one of the cutest things you've ever seen in your life like oh look at his paws oh my gosh that's so cute he's got a rainbow belly oh my gosh definitely not gonna let the kitten or my children have this this is mine and it is mine forever and i'm just gonna i always wanted a pet dragon and now i get to have one it's big you guys like for real it's so big <laughs> Oh wait, I'm dying. My cat, my, this kitten is a stereotype. I put the empty box on the floor and in two seconds he was inside of it. I'm like, you are a stereotype. Okay, so I did a couple, a couple other things. First, I did get the Sadie and Quill collectible mini vinyl figure set. I collect a lot of their different vinyls actually. I think they're really pretty. I like to put them on my desk and stuff like that. I'll try to open this so I can at least show you. Look at that pretty artwork on the back. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Diamond Art Club, can you license this please? That is so pretty. Looks like they had a guest artist. So I don't know if they can technically license that or not, but that's really pretty. Anyway, 
There's, oh, cute. There's little mini vinyl figures. I suppose I could turn these into minders. Like I put magnets on the bottom. Have a little minder companion. This one is so cute. Look at the little baby rainbow dragon. Oh my gosh. So stinking adorable. I can't, I can't. Okay, so here's what I can at least make somewhat more diamond painting related. So I also got the Sadie and Quill enamel pin set. I have a video on turning enamel pins into minders and um, I will try to remember to link to that below. But I like to take these pins and <laughs> convert them into cover minders for diamond painting. So you can pop the, the backs of the pins off and glue on a magnet. Like I said, I'll link to my video on that, but how cute is that? So, 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 so cute. So I have those. And then I got this frost one because we're going and keeping a theme with the winter. I know I'm just destroying this box. Frost. Look at how cute it is. Oh my goodness. I want to collect all the seasonal pins. I have the fall one. I don't know if they've done spring and summer yet, but I will certainly be getting those. So like I said, I will link to the video below on how I convert pins into cover minders, just in case you were curious for yourself. Okay, let's get into the rest of these packages. We have a lot to get through today, you guys. So next up, I'm gonna show you a recent order from Simply Gilded, which I did have to cut into this. Um, this was from, let me check the date on this one, <laughs> 11, 13. This is from the beginning of November. Um, I got the Scorpio set because I am a Scorpio. <laughs> this may have been a birthday treat for myself. I don't even remember. Uh, but it came with the Scorpio card. There'll be some Scorpio washing here that I'll show you as well. And they always send out free journaling cards and samplers and stuff like that. So that's super cute. Ooh, that's pretty. Planner Love Deco Sheet. Oh, that came with the Scorpio set. So fun. And then Sampler Freebie. Oh, you guys have to tell me. Is it, are, are you losing your minds hearing the kitten in the background? Or are you doing okay? You doing okay? Hope we're doing okay. The cat's like, small shop haul. How about lots of toys for me, haul? <laughs> so I do have some Christmas washi that I got in this order um, that I guess I'll probably just be kind of saving for next year. <laughs> so a couple of different var variations on like Christmas lights that I thought were just really pretty. And then, is this the Scorpio? Yep, there's a Scorpio set. Love that. I don't normally love scorpions, to be totally honest with you. So Scorpio being my sign is is a little tricky, but I still thought this was pretty washy and if nothing else would be fun to collect. And then I have this pretty, uh, this is part of a set, I think. But I love that medallion, mandala maybe is what they called it. Yeah, here we go. It did come as part of a set. I think there might be a fourth one in there. Let me check, hold on. Yep. I see it, I see it, I see it. So I did get this set of the different like floral mandala prints. I thought it was so pretty. I love that, I love that. Any dirt or dust doesn't get stuck in it, but anyway, look at this pretty pink garland washi. Isn't that so pretty? Love that. So that is my washi haul from Simply Gilded from back in November. <laughs> so yay for washi. Now this, sorry, this uh, was packaged in with some kits that I ordered from Muni Made, but I thought it deserved its own, you know, inclusion in this, in this small shop haul. So this is from Muni Made. I was lucky enough to snag one of her December curated sets. And I say lucky enough because yes, I did have to hop on her website just like everyone else and have really fast fingers to try to get it. I was lucky enough to snag one. This was one of the Jingle Drills event sets that was exclusive to December. Um, I like that fun printing on the side. So Jingle Drills was an event that uh, my friend Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights hosted. And so, like I said, this was exclusive to the month of December. Look at that pretty, pretty uh, printing here on the inside of the lid. That's so fun. Of course, it's very Christmassy with this sparkly emerald green. And then of course the glittery red stopper. Love that combo. That's super, super cute. So that was a Dringle Drill set. It's no longer available, uh, but Muni Made trays always do sell out really fast. So I recommend you set alarms and be ready to just have to try more than once. I don't get any special treatment because I'm a, I have a YouTube channel. I am in there frantically trying to buy with all of you. I recommend having like Apple Pay or something like that and just being ready to 
check out as fast as you possibly can. All right, so I have a couple of packages here moving on from, these are from Randy's Crafty Corner. One of these is from December 14th and the other is from 11.30, November 30th. So not totally egregious, but kind of egregious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Randa's Crafty Corner uh, sells amazing scented putty and cover minders and other diamond painting accessories, and um, I adore her putty. I use it in my multi-placer. So looks like we have Butterscotch Cookie Dough, Candy Cane, and Christmas Wreath for the scents that I grabbed this time. What does Christmas Wreath smell like, I wonder? Let's check. But I, I feel like a little goes a long way in terms of her putty. It lasts a really long time. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that smells like Christmas. <laughs> It almost smells like cologne, actually. Um, yeah, those look so fun. Uh, but I feel like a little bit goes a long way. And uh, she kind of originated like a lot of this, a lot of this stuff, like with the packaging and the style and everything. So beware of copycats. <laughs> I also picked up this adorable Christmassy cover minder from her shop as well. So cute. So, 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 so cute. And then I had one other package. This is from in November, though. And honestly, it's kind of like, Christmas all over again because I have no idea what scents I ordered this time in this particular order. So let's take a look. It'll, it'll be a surprise for me too. <laughs> all right. So, oh, that's right. Okay. Little freebie, some candy, peppermint. This adorable little minder. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Let's get these cute little like unicorn ice cream minders. Adorable. And then I picked up Aspen Winter, Chocolate Mint, and Orange Sicole. By the way, don't eat these, even if they smell amazing. Okay, so I remember saying the scent on this one, it was like an Andes Mint. Let me check. I need to know. Yep, <laughs> it smells like an Andes Mint. That's amazing. So yay for some new Randis Crafty Corner scents. Now you guys, you'll see both putty. I have my Enablers Outpost chit. I have my Randis Crafty Corner scented putty. I am an equal opportunity, like small shop supporter. <laughs> I love both of these products and I'm happy to use both of them. Um, I just kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I want to try a different scent or a slightly different texture because they are slightly different formulas and stuff like that. So, um, and, and I think that these owners like get along great and stuff like that. So more power to them. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that is kind of like the putty and like little, little seasonal minder haul from Randa's. Now I have a couple of, this is like minder themed mail. Let's see, in this one, I had to open because there was a there's a Christmas gift for someone in here. This is from Joy Addict, and I've had their shop favorited on Etsy for quite some time and decided to splurge on Black Friday. Included some freebies. She has these absolutely beautiful stamp fan fandom themed minders or pit enamel pins rather and like i said they've been on my wish list for a very long time so uh first i did get a set of washi this is actually washi tape it's stamp style and it has different of the stamps that she does as washi tape i think that's so much fun oh my gosh you can see just a few there i love that lorian one that's beautiful um, I think, was it, was there a freebie? Was there a promo? Because I don't think that I ordered this one. I think this might have been in, in as a freebie, like a buy however many. But the castle, I'm sure you can guess what that's based on. And again, it's an enamel pin. I'm going to pop the backing off of these and um, turn these, not drop them, turn them into cover minders to use with diamond painting. And let me not make them... <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the very unfiltered, unpolished version of the small shop haul. Okay, I'm an, I am obsessed, obsessed with Doctor Who. And I love this. Look at the detail on this. Like, amazingly, amazingly done. The police box. Baker Street. Specifically, I love the BBC version of Sherlock so much. I love it so much. <laughs> And then the falls. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite Pixar movie. I love everything up. This was honestly, this is one that I was like, well, this is a must have. Uh, I would happily collect like all of her stamp goodies, but it's a little bit out of my price range. That's why I was like, I'm waiting for the Black Friday sale. <laughs> and um, yeah, so yay. I'm so glad I finally have some of those. They make my heart so happy. So uh, that was from Joy Addict. This next package came all the way from, what country did this one come from? 
I'm not seeing it. Um, oh, Australia. Inchworm Designs. They have really fun cover minders. And I'm pretty sure there might be some Christmassy themed ones in here because I ordered this way, 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 way the heck long ago. And it's been sitting for a really long time. So again, I actually don't 100% remember everything that's in here. So take a look. If I can cut it open. Um, in terms of designs, I feel like they might have had like a free shipping threshold, which when it's shipping internationally from Australia was totally worth it to hit. So let's take a look. Ooh, it's all taped together carefully. Okay. All right. Well, these are all individually packaged. So we have this kitty minder. This looks like my older cat, Dolce. My senior cat. And then we've got, oh, I love this one for the holiday season. Look at the cute little fluffy reindeer. It's so happy. That's right. So speaking of Doctor Who, there's a pink TARDIS. It's so cute. I love it. I know the TARDIS is not actually pink, but we're just going to go with it. <laughs> and then this one was just happy. A rainbow in a jar. I love that. And then last but not least, <laughs> this one made me smile. I need my space. I'm pretty sure Jamie and or Jacqueline have this one. That was, or maybe Emma has this one. And I was like, I need that one too because I need my space. So those minders are all from Inchworm Designs. I will link to their shop below so you can take a look. All right, I think the rest of what I have for you guys is pen mail, which as I always say, we get to the end of the video and you haven't seen pens, it's actually a cry for help. A small shop haul video, that is. So this first one, oh my gosh, I've been dying, dying to get into this one. This is from Swampwood Designs. Um, and I ordered this one back in the beginning of November. I am so sad that I have not opened this one yet, but I'm so also so incredibly excited. So Swampwood, um, they, they make blanks. Then they also turn and sell some pens and they sell really fast. When they, when they list pens in the shop and for good reason, because they're so incredibly, incredibly stunning. I actually, um, this I think is going to have two pens in it. And I have another box that has two more in it that I'm saving for a different small shop haul video in part because like, I just want to talk about Swampwood more than once because their quality is so amazing. Somehow I'm going to have to hold off on opening that other package. So, um, Okay, so a little note written on the side. So Seth is the owner. Very, very, very sweet guy. Um, but yeah, no, these pens, these pens are so gorgeous. Hold on a second. Let me shift this so that you guys can see me actually open. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can do this. We can do this. It'll be very smooth, very, very put together here. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look. So I grabbed both of these. And I just, I, I just have this Etsy shop favorited. I check back regularly. And like I said, they sell really fast though, because they're so unique and so beautiful and amazing quality. I always get compliments when I use them in my videos and stuff too. Oh my gosh. Look at this pen. I can't. It's so pretty. I can't. This is part of his uh, rock candy collection. I, I assume he pours these, but look at the sparkle on those. I can't, I love the hybrid vibe, like with the glittery down here and then the flakes and clear up here. <gasps> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I've only seen this color go up once. That doesn't mean he's only ever listed it once. It means that's the only time that I was quick enough that I saw it and was able to grab it. That's stunning. That's stunning. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure is a colorway that I have been wanting to try to get my hands on for some time. <laughs> I love it. It's like a bright lemon lime green. It's so unique. I have absolutely nothing like it. These pens are so ergonomic to hold. They're beautifully turned and created. I've never had any of these gems fall off. Like I said, I have several and I use them a lot. They're some of my favorites. So incredibly pretty. Oh my gosh, I want to open up the other ones so badly, but I'm really going to try to make myself wait until the next small shop haul video. <laughs> <laughs> those are both from Swampwood. Um, he has two Instagram accounts. One that it seems like is more focused on the blanks that he pours. And the other is for like the pens that he turns. So I'll link to both of them below. All right. I've got a few more here to share with you guys. Let me share. This one is from Black Wolf Woodworks. This one shipped on November 9th. It's been sitting for a while. <laughs> um, this is fun though, you guys. It's like a whole new batch of 
of goodies to get to play with. I'm so darn excited. And I think there's two in here because uh, I ordered several pens from him when he listed several like breast cancer awareness ones in November. This is business card, James Clevenger, Black Wolf Woodworks. He has a, a Facebook group and, and an Etsy shop or Facebook page maybe. So let's take a look. And his pens don't come with uh, tips, but I have lots of extras. So that's not a big, not a big deal for me. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is so pretty. <gasps> I can't. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm a sucker for a hybrid, like a huge sucker for a hybrid. I love the wood color on this one and the sparkly pink and purple at the top and the turning. This is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. Black Wolf Woodworks is an, actually another one of my very favorite pen shops. I love their pens. I've been collecting and using their pens for years. Some of my definite favorites. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now here's this other one from them. I see pink. I see pink. Yes. All right, you guys. This was definitely one of the breast cancer awareness pens. Again, look at that unique turning. I don't ever really usually request specific turning styles from him. I kind of am just like, I let, I trust his process. <laughs> he's, he's the one that poured and turned the blanks. I'm just going to let him create what he thinks is going to look good. And I, I love that. So many shades of pink and glitter and flakes. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now, I don't know if you could go to him and say like, Hey, can you do like pours of this, of this kind of pen again? Like, I think those all have since sold out, but not 100% sure. I'm actually not 100% sure. But I'll link to his shop and his Facebook page. You can go and you can go and take a look. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're getting close to the end. I just have a couple more packages for you. This one is from Norse Alchemist. I think there's two pens in here. I think I bought these on my birthday, I think. And so Norse Alchemist, obviously, these shipped from overseas. They ship pretty quickly. They arrive pretty quickly, and the quality is really nice. Um, they have some different, like, turning shapes and stuff like that. Uh, but I had passed up one of these blanks before and I regretted it very promptly. Uh, and then when he listed some more, I was like, well, now, now I need it. And then one of the pens, I'll explain why also leapt into my cart. I couldn't stop it. <clears throat> oh, fun. Branded little pen bags. That's fun. Norse Alchemist. So let's take a look. I have two in here, of course. Did I forego tips or were there tips in there? I'm not sure. I, I I need to make sure that I check on it so I can tell you guys. So you guys know whether or not you know you have to be like request tips or not. All right, come on. Want to see? Oh my gosh, this is the one that I passed up once and I immediately regretted it. Look at those pretty rose gold flakes. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. There's a little bit of like dust in there. That's okay. Just wipe that right out. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I love the rose gold flakes. And I think it's so striking against the black down there. Oh, so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. And this other one, I saw this one. And can you, if you've been around for a little while, you know, who's my favorite, one of my favorite characters that I always want things of this character. I saw this pen and I was like, this is that character. <laughs> I have a cross stitch conversion to work on of this character at some point soon. Um, if I can get it out, come on. Okay, that took way longer than it should have, but here is this gorgeous pen. Oh my gosh, the shades of green, the like cracked effect with the black and those gold flakes. Does this not scream Loki to you? I had to have it, I had to have it. I like the turning style, it's real ergonomic and stuff. You can actually feel some of the, a little bit of like gold flake where that bumped there. I like it. I like it a lot. So those two pens are from Norse Alchemist. Look at all this pen mail. I'm so, it's so fun to get to open pen mail again. I love it. We have one more package here, you guys. This is the last one. I had to stop and, and restart this uh, video a couple of times. So at this point, I'm actually not 100% sure how long this is going to be. But thanks for hanging out with me. Well, I finally got to do one of these. I've been missing it. This last pen, this is from BFF Diamond Painting Pens. I kind of rediscovered them recently thanks to Jacqueline. Um, who's Diamond Art Sparkles on Instagram and a fellow accessories fiend. <laughs> but they, um, they added like some new turning shapes and they have a Facebook group now and stuff like that. And, um, they do some blank drops sometimes. And if there's, if they're popular enough, they'll, they'll do like another round of that same blank drop. That's what happened with this one. 
I really like the look of it. I'm gonna have to save it for next year because it's very, like, I feel to me it's very Christmassy. But I was I was so excited to pass it up. I thought the blank was so incredibly pretty, and I got to pick the turning shape that I wanted, and and all that. So I'll just pop it off the end. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Look, it's so Christmassy. I think this this turning style. I think they called chunky groovy. It's not very thick though. Um, their pens in general, even the ones that say chunky, are not thickly turned. To me, this is very like standard turning. Um, but look at the pretty white snowflakes and the red. <laughs> I love asymmetrical. So I was excited when they did another round of, of blanks uh, in this style. And so I will definitely be saving this one to use next year. But this was from BFF Diamond Painting Pens. And I do like the quality. I like that they've added some new turning shapes that are kind of more my vibe. So yay, you guys. This was a really darn fun small shop haul. I loved getting into all this with you guys. <laughs> um, I've been missing these and... Um, I, as always, love to have the opportunities to support small shops in the community. Uh, so, like I said, please take a look down in the description box and show some love to these these small shops. So, we had, like, Dragons and Beasties. We had Enablers Outpost. Um, we had Simply Gilded, Norse Alchemist, Black Wolf Woodworks, Swampwood, BFF, uh, Diamond Painting Pens, Inchworm Designs, Randa's Crafty Corner, Joy Addict, and Muni Made. So... Oh, this was so fun, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, let me know, by the way. I'm always open to suggestions. If you own a small shop or know of a small shop that you'd like for me to try out, I'm always open to that. And um, uh, happy to make a purchase as well. I'm not asking for anyone to send me anything. I love being able to uh, take any any revenue that I have that comes in from having my channel to turn around and use that to support my fellow crafters and creators. So, uh, and small shop. I'm not a small shop owner. It's not a fellow small shop owner, but just small shop owners in general. I think you know what I mean. But thank you, thank you, thank you to all the small shop owners that uh, put so much time and hard work and effort into creating uh, beautiful accessories and other handmade goodies that we get to enjoy as part of our crafting. And um, I know it's often a very like thankless and long hours and difficult job. And I hope you know how much you're appreciated and loved. So you guys also go show some love to, to our small shop owners out there. Cause often they are just tiny family run businesses running out of their homes and, um, and they need lots of love and support as well. So check the description box below again for links to the socials for all of these shops or if they have Facebook groups or anything like that, I'll link those below as well as directly to the shops themselves. But happy shopping. So uh, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, want to see lots more like it, including more that has directly to do with diamond painting, like actual diamond painting and reviews of completed uh, diamond paintings from a variety of different companies, that sort of thing, feel free to hit the subscribe button just down here. And you can even hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. I'd love to have you as part of my community here. And uh, if you had fun in this video hanging out with me today, would you mind getting uh, giving me a thumbs up on your way out? I would appreciate it so, so, so much. All right, my friends, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. I will chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.